Here's an example of uh, a conversion that we need to do, not on a single value, but actually on a rate, on a conversion factor itself. So we, in this question, we have a density value that's listed as 22.6 kilograms per cubic meter. And we're asked to determine the value of this density in different units, units of pounds per cubic feet. So to summarize the question, we're actually being asked to take this value of 22.6 kilograms in one cubic meter, okay, m raised to the power of three, and we're asked to determine what value would this be in different units, and those units would be pounds, lb, pounds per cubic foot. So how do we go about doing this? Because in the questions that we've done so far, We've always steered away from starting um, a conversion pathway, for example, with something that looks like a rate, you know, something over something else. And we've started just with a single value. But in this case, we actually have to convert our conversion factor. So, um, like in any problem, we'll just take it one step at a time. And I think if you treat the uh, top first and then the bottom, or at least treat them one at a time, um, then we've broken it down into a very, very doable question uh, in a very systematic way. So um, let's look at the top. We have uh, basically this is density, so we have a mass over volume. So I think what we want to do with the top is take our mass in kilograms and just convert it to a mass in pounds. And I'll put up the um, data sheet in a second, and we'll have a look at it so you can take down what that conversion factor is, so you don't have to pause it right now and go find that. Um, and really, the, the top part is going to be done in a single step, I think, because we have this conversion factor. Um, the bottom part, the volume part, is where it gets a little more interesting. And so I think on the bottom, um, what we'll do is we'll take the volume in cubic meters, and I'm going to write my cubic meters this way, because I would encourage you to do your conversions of volume, which is uh, the cubic conversion, actually do them in what's called the first dimension, and then just keep your whole thing cubed. And that might sound strange, but just watch. So um, I have conversion factors for um, meters to centimeters. I actually have that one in my head. And I know how to convert a centimeter to an inch and, a and an inch to a foot. But I might not know how many uh, cubic feet there are in a meter or, in fact, uh, cubic centimeters in a cubic meter. It just adds a little a layer of, of, um, of difficulty, but this is how I would suggest you approach it. Um, it eliminates most risk of getting anything incorrect. So I would take the meter value and use a conversion factor that converts it to centimeters. So there's 100 centimeters in a meter. And then I know that I have 2.5 centimeters in every inch. So I could do that conversion. And I also know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So in a quite straightforward manner, I can convert my meters to centimeters to inches to feet. But remember, I'm being asked to convert cubic meters to cubic feet. So if I did all of this and then I cubed the whole thing, <clears throat> excuse me, I would actually essentially have calculated my volume from cubic meters to cubic feet. So let's actually put this um, put this into into action. Um, first of all, I said I was going to show this to you, so you might want to pause the video on, hold on, at this point, <coughs> sorry, and you can take down these conversion factors, and I told you that these would be ones that um, would be given on a test, or a quiz, or, or an exam, uh, where you may or may not use them, they're just standard issue. So just because you're given this doesn't mean you need to use them, but they would be standard issue. So I think the um, of these, the ones that will suit us in, uh, to do this question are, um, you know, 12 inches to a foot, 2.54 centimeters in an inch, and that's about it for, for this question. So that's handy to have. And that was given in, in our notes so that page is actually in one of the 
the slides from selected slides for lectures, I think. But anyway, we did it in class. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin. Let's push, push this up a bit. So um, let's do the top first. So we have 22.6 kilograms, and I want to convert that to pounds. So um, you see the unit that goes on the bottom is going to end up canceling, and the unit that I place on top will end up remaining. So I have effectively done a conversion. And from the sheet that I just showed you, we saw that there are 2.2046 pounds um, per kilogram. And so there we have it. So then, that's it for the top. And let's not do that yet. Let's just draw a big line and convert my volume. Okay, so that's what's going to happen on top. And we'll calculate that in a moment. And now I'm going to convert um, my volume all the way from cubic meters to cubic feet on the bottom. So what do I have? I have one cubic meter. And in the first step, I want to convert it to cubic centimeters. So here we go. Um, let's put a bracket here. So uh, I know that in one meter, I can go to centimeters. In one meter, there are 100 centimeters. Okay, that's what I know. So I want to cancel, however, cubic meters. So what I do is I put the cube here. So you remember from your math rules that the cube outside here, if I were to remove these brackets, what I've in fact written is 100 cubed centimeters cubed over, one cubed is one, meter cubed. Okay, let's continue. Times. So I'm not going to draw my lines here, but essentially this is cubic meters are going to cancel with cubic meters, and I will be left with not 100 cubic centimeters, but 100 cube centimeters cubed. Okay, remember that when we do our calculations, and I'll, I'll remind you of it. Okay, so let's continue. Now I've got cubic centimeters. And I want to convert cubic centimeters to cubic inches. And the way that I will do that is to convert in the first dimension, that is, centimeters to inches. And I know from my conversion factor that I have, if I want to go from centimeters to inches, I know that there's 2.54 centimeters in every one inch. And if I cube the whole thing, this is 2.54 cubed centimeters cubed under one cubed, which is still one cubic inch. And let's go again. Cubic inches now to cubic feet. Okay. So you see how I don't need the conversion factor for cubic centimeters to cubic inches, for example. I just need to know how many centimeters there are in an inch, and then I put the cube on top. All right, so in this last step, I know that I have 12 inches in every foot but I'm canceling cubic inches, so I do the following. Okay, so now this is the math that I need to solve, this big equation here. So let's do the top first. Again, one step at a time, top, bottom. Uh, let's multiply through the top. I know that kilograms will go out with kilograms and I'll be left with pounds. And let's put down the number that the calculator will return with all its digits, 49.82396, but my unit will be pound. And that is all over. Now here's what you want to put into your calculator. Okay, I'm just gonna skip over the ones because that's pointless. So you're going to put in your calculator now, 100 cubed divided by 2.54 cubed divided by 12 cubed. And we'll get an answer of, hopefully you have this, 35.314666. Now what are my units? Well, the cubic meter goes out with the cubic meter, and the centimeters cubed goes out with centimeters cubed, and I'm left with inches cubed. Inches cubed cancels with inches cubed, and I'm left with 
feet cubed. So let's just tidy up our sig figs. I'm running out of space here. Um, how many sig figs? We'll have a look back. I think we started with 22.6. None of the conversion factors introduced any limit on my precision. So I have uh, three sig figs for the answer is what I should have. Um, I think when you divide this through, you'll get 1.4108. Um, let's put it here. 1.4108 pounds per cubic foot. And I'll trim that back to three sig figs. And so I get 1.4108. For one, because the eight will force that zero to round up to a one pounds per cubic foot. I'll squeeze this in here, but you would want to put a box around your final answer, and that's that.